Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to take a look at the UB Awesome. This is the drone that's been making a lot of waves in the last couple of weeks here. I finally got a chance to test it out and finally review it. I often like to um, get a lot of flights in before I actually review a product, so I don't just unbox it and review it. So this has been flown quite a few times, and I have to tell you right off the bat, I like it a lot. It is uh, it's everything that you would want in a ready to fly drone. Now I've tested a lot of 130 millimeter drones and this one by far takes the cake as far as usability, um, uh, ease of setup and uh, just flyability is really, really, really nice. As always guys, it's gonna come really well packaged from UB and it's kind of a catchy name. It's the UB and then company name is called Awesome. So it makes you really feel good when you're flying the drone because you are awesome. So guys, the, mine came with this gray canopy. Now it comes in white and black. I would have preferred white, but I got what I what I got. So that's just fine. And of course, um, any good product is going to come down to its instruction manual. And this one is um, right up there with the top of the instruction manuals. It covers everything you want to know about the flight control board, the video transmitter, how you put the blades on in case you're new, um, the camera, everything you wanna know is in this manual and it also comes in Chinese. I think that's Chinese. I'm using the X4R with my Tyrannus uh, radio and it's really easy to get into this uh, copter. Um, I have the supplied XT30 to JSD plug this because I'm using a 800 milliamp 3S battery pack with this copter. This seems to be the one of the best size batteries for this uh, drone. It carries it with ease and it has enough power. So that's really, really nice. I'll just put that to the side. And to take off the um, top here, you're gonna remove these two screws and very gently pull the uh, canopy off. Now for you beginners out there, make sure you never ever power up your drone with the antenna off because that'll instantly fry your video transmitter because it, all this energy has nowhere to go. So you just take your simple two millimeter hex driver and unscrew the two top bolts here. Screws, screws are called screws, not bolts. And we're gonna take off the canopy. Now you'll see that it is a quite a tight fit, which is what I like actually. There's these two little teeth here that you sometimes can push through um, what I like to do is just kind of squeeze the canopy together like this and it start to come off very easily. Let's just take a look inside and see what we have. There we go. And you can see how I have the X4R receiver. I have it actually just hot glued in a, in a couple spaces there and it can come off very easily if I need to. You just drop a little bit of um, denatured alcohol on there. Quite, quite easy. Here is the, the little LED that'll tell you which channel you are and what band you're on, which is really nice. Here's your bootloader button for the flight control board. The small camera in the front, I'll go over this in just a moment. Uh, you plug your X4R into the side of this um, port right here. This is the S-Bus connector um, that is uh, associated with this board, which they do give you uh, this plug, and they also give you a plug for a PPM setting as well. Uh, I ran uh, both of my antennas. These X4Rs have long antennas, so I have it wrapped around the receiver once and then just sticking out the back here through this little back hatch area. Now it does come with a all-in-one ESC board, which is why you don't see any ESCs on the arms here. Uh, very, very nice touch. It's very compact. Um, the camera is just lackluster. You can actually replace this if you'd like. It doesn't have a very uh, wide dynamic range as far as going from darks to shadows. So this is something you can replace in the future, of course. Now, uh, that brings us to the motors. These motors are the 1306 3600 KV motors by UB Awesome. I, so far, they've, they've uh, done a really good job. Now, when it comes to the propellers, uh, this is where a huge bit of improve, improvement can be made. Um, I have a set of Racecraft four-bladed uh, propellers that I replaced these with. I think that the Craft actually flies much, much better with. You can tell that these props, they're just there's no attention to details. There's a lot of overhang and flash on the edges of the props, which makes it, number one, unbalanced and very inefficient going through the air. So. So if I had one recommendation, I would definitely recommend replacing these props. I understand there's a bit of controversy. They say this looks too much like another drone. 
Uh, I think it's called an Atom, which has the TBS cube inside now. This might share the same shape, but I, my thoughts are always this, is that there's only a certain amount of ways that you can put four motors onto a plank of carbon, and things are gonna look alike, and things are gonna be inspired from other things. Something that man matters to you, then, then, then you can uh, make note of that. One thing to note here that I'm not super happy with is that they actually routed out the carbon fiber, if you can see this. There is, um, they actually milled out the space for these wires to sit inside of. There's no advantage to insetting these wires into the arms because when the drone's going forward, it's going at this direction, not this direction for the air to go across. So it's really kind of a pointless um, a bit. I don't think it's going to weaken the arms that much. And people are also talking about how flexy this bottom frame is. Quite honestly, with for a quad that has very little mass, this is not going to make a huge difference. I mean, I can flex this, but I'm actually putting quite a bit of effort into it. I don't think it's going to affect your flight performance. Uh, at least it didn't for me. So anyway, guys, that is a first look at the UB Awesome drone. Uh, what do you guys think? Tell me what you uh, have found in the comments there. Um, like I said, it is a great flying uh, quad. I'm going to have some video of this coming on my channel quite soon, so stay tuned.